Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. In this video, we will discuss this problem D from Code Forces around 933 day 3 Rudolph and the Ball Game. And this video was actually requested by someone uh, in the comment section. And similarly, if you want to request a solution to a particular problem, you can comment down. Okay. Now, uh, now let's actually first read this problem. Rudolph and Bernard decided to play a game with their friends. N people stand in a circle and start throwing a ball to each other. They are numbered from 1 to N in clockwise order. Let's call a transition a movement of the ball uh, of the ball from one player to his neighbor. The transition can be made clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's call the clockwise counterclockwise distance from player Y1 to player Y2. Okay. The number of transition clockwise the number of transitions clockwise that need to be made to move from player Y1 to so basically I think you get the idea. If I'm at two uh, to make a transition of two. I, uh, if I make a transition of 2, I can go to either 7 uh, or I can go to 4 uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise like that uh, let's say you are some let's say we have some people so if we have some person lined up here okay so if they are numbered from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 then if I say like like I want to go to 2 clockwise direction then I can either reach 3 or and if I go uh, anti-clockwise then I can reach 5 like that okay So I have this now. Uh, now what is given is we have some uh, we have some conditions like zero, one, and question mark. If we have a if it is given zero, then that move can be made either clockwise or anti-clockwise. If it is one, then it is uh, sorry. So if it is if it is a zero, then it is made clockwise direction. If it is a one, then it is made in counterclockwise direction. Otherwise, he doesn't know whether it was clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now we clearly know that uh, if it is a question mark then the answer increases by 2 because from one position we can go either left or either right we don't really know. So let's say we have some people in lined up let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and uh, when I was solving such problem I thought it was really similar to uh, something called a Josephus problem. Uh, I will also show you the question. It is from the CSCS problem set. This is Josephus problem one. Okay, so I, I when I was solving this problem, I thought that it was something like this: that some people are standing in a circle and something similar is happening. Okay, so I was thinking of implementing a linked list. So what I can do is let's say, uh, so from one person, I could go to several other persons in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction. But uh, if we if I create a linked list, it will take me big O of n time just to move around, right? So I ruled out that possibility. So I did not have to use a linked list here. So I ruled it out because I don't want to take O of n time just to move around the circle, right? Now uh, and also uh, there were no removals. There were no removals in this questions. So that is also why I ruled out that possibility that I do not have to use a linked list in this question. Now, uh, how do I move from this position to this uh, towards left to if I say like if I am at 1, uh, how do I move 2 times uh, like if I want to go in clockwise direction like this, then I can say simply 1 plus uh, 2 and take modulus with uh, the n. Will this always work? No, right? Uh, why? Because if I want to go six times in the clockwise direction, uh, I will have one plus six, and when when you take modulus with six, uh, modulus with six, you will reach one. And if you see, we have one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I mean, for this case, it worked. But let's say if I wanted to go only five spaces. So let me erase it. If I say uh, I want to go only 5 spaces in clockwise direction, then I will do 1 plus 5 modulus 6 and this will give me a 0. So whenever you encounter 0, 0 will, uh, I will have to say like 0 will mean uh, 6, then I can write some if else cases and make, make it work. But so an easier way would be to make this 0 based indexing. So I converted these numbers into 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Now if you take mod, then the modulus will be in this range 0 to 5 and that will work. 
that is why I, in my uh, in my implementation if you see in the live video that i recorded yesterday uh, it will be from uh, it, uh, i use the zero based indexing while solving this problem now uh, like it is clear that when i when when we have a question mark then the potential that uh, i could go from left to right is increased right let's say we have some players like like this okay and first I go, uh, first it is one question mark, then we have two question mark. Then how many people can I reach? Let's say I'm starting from here. If it is one question mark, then I will say like, okay, let's remove this. Right. And I will be able to reach either this or this, right. So I have two possibilities now. And if I do a two question mark, then from here I can go here and here and from here I can go here and here so uh, there are three potential values that I can reach if you see right so for the answer will be three and the indexes of these will be the answer for the whole question now how to actually implement this uh, when I was thinking about it I found it very similar to graph coloring problem right uh, because i have to check that if, if if it is possible or not right so i found it very similar to graph coloring problem i won't say that this is a very standard problem uh, but i found it very similar to uh, graph coloring and uh, also i was thinking in terms of like how to detect cycle in uh, indirect graphs so something like detecting cycles in indirect graphs so that is why I went for a visited array. So that is why I maintained a visited array uh, for this question. So I won't be coding it, but let's see the implementation only. Okay. So this was the implementation and what I did was, let me explain. Okay. So what I did here was, let's say first I'm starting with some number, right? I could have maintained a queue, uh, that is also a correct way. But uh, what I did was, let's say I've maintained a visited array. And uh, if it is a one, that uh, represents that, okay, this one is possible. Like at this current uh, iteration, uh, these are the people that uh, that could be currently my, uh, the person that holding the ball, right? And before starting, there is only one person who has the ball. So I said visitor of x minus one as one. And why x minus one? Because we have a zero based indexing. Now while m minus one, m minus minus this, this is just well, like we have three people. So I said like okay, three iterations. So that is why. Okay. Now, okay. Let's let me just run this once. Yeah. Uh, now what we have to uh, input the distance and the character. And if it is this uh, question mark. What I'm doing is this is a queue basically and why I'm implementing it as a vector that is just a personal choice. You can also use a normal queue and why do we even need a queue? Why can't I just uh, do it like this? I can remove these two lines. Can't, can't I just remove these lines and put it here? No, because what might happen is when I do this, uh, when I update the later index, when I go from one to n, uh, let's say what happens is let's say I have people like this. Okay. And this is marked. Now, uh, you want to go two times clockwise. So what you will do is you will mark this also. And when you go like this, when you are here, then you will mark this also, which is incorrect. If it was previously unmarked, then I can't mark this. Uh, I mean, you get the idea, right? I first get all the indices that were marked. And then for only those indices that were marked, I will tell them, first of all, I will say that, okay, visited of i is, is equals to zero. You can even first remove it from here and put it here. That will also work. Uh, that will also work. But uh, the basic idea is this first get all the marked indices that were previously unmarked. And after that, when you are traversing, you can uh, mark them again like that. So it is just a personal choice to use a vector. You can also use a normal queue. And similarly, if it is a uh, like this is for clockwise direction. I will even write it here. Clockwise and this is the counter clockwise. Okay. And what is this operation here? 
i minus b mod n plus n mod n why do we have a plus n mod n uh, that is because what might happen is let's say you are at position 1 and you want to go 3 distance do, uh, backwards so this will give you a minus 2 and minus 2 mod something uh, this might be equal to this might give you a minus 2 only okay so just to avoid the possibility I did a minus 2 plus n and then took a mod uh, just to avoid the possibility and what if you, are, you have something like uh, 5 you are, at, uh, you are at position 5 and you go 2 distance for negative so you will do a minus uh, 5 minus 2 which is 3 and 3 mod 7 is let's say you have 7 people so 3 mod 7 is 3 only and 3 plus 7 mod 7 is also 3 so in both cases it will work you just have to add a plus n and this is using if you don't understand it kindly study a bit of modular arithmetics uh, and for that you can actually refer this site called CP algorithms here they have given a nice blog on modular arithmetics so you can study about modular inverse if you don't understand this step now uh, so this is how you I am marking the elements which are clockwise and counterclockwise if you see this is basically the same thing I just have replaced I have removed this line here and in the in this case I have removed this line here so that is the code and uh, I think it is a very simple problem for uh, a very beginner like if you are somewhere on newbie or pupil level you might find it difficult but uh, once you reach a division 2 level I don't think it is a very tough problem uh, let me ch just check the rating I, I have not actually checked the rating okay it is a system testing so I can't actually submit this right now I will give the code in the description or in the pinned com comments below you can check that out okay uh, so I hope you were able to understand it if you have any other particular doubts you can put them in the comments and I will see you guys next time thank you okay